Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 2 from section 7-7 .7 in the Savas Realize Algebra 1 textbook. The goal of today's video is to factor to find a dimension. All right, so what we're doing is we are taking a shape that we're used to, and we might have an expression for volume. And we are using it to figure out the radius of that, that object. So this is sometimes useful um, when you're, you're missing pieces of information from like manufacturing companies. So it says, Sasha has a tech store and needs cylindrical containers to package her voice activated speakers. A packaging company makes two different cylindrical containers. They're both three inches high. The volume information is given for each type of container. Determine the radius of each cylinder. How much greater is the radius of one container than the other? All right, so in our first step here, what they do is they start with the formula. So the volume of a cylinder has this formula. The volume equals the pi times the radius squared times the height. Now, the height of both containers is 3 inches, so we went ahead and put a 3 here. So, both of these expressions have 3 pi in common. So, on the first one, which is like the smaller one, you could see the 3 pi in there. But in this larger cylinder, do you see how there, there's not a 3 explicitly in there? Instead, what they have to do is factor the GCF of 3 out of each of those terms which is what they're doing here. So now the step two, they're, they're factoring the expressions to get the radius. All right, because we have the height and the pi, that means that this stuff left in black is your radius squared. Now on the smaller container, it's easy to see that x is the radius because that's what's being squared. But on the larger container, it has a number pattern, doesn't it? It has this trinomial. So what they're doing is they're using the fact that this is a perfect square trinomial in order to write it as x plus 5 squared. So now the next part of this is, you know, we're trying to compare the radius from one container to the other, right? So if I take the radius of the big one, and subtract the radius of the little one, that's going to tell me the difference in the two. So in this case, it's a difference of five inches. So let's go ahead and let's walk through this now without all the text on the screen. And now we're going to find the radius of this cylinder. So just a reminder, the, the volume formula is pi r squared height, right? So I already have the pi. So that means that this thing in the parentheses is r squared height. So my first step is to factor out the GCF from that set of parentheses. So 27, 18, and 3, those are all divisible by 3. And if I do that, this is my trinomial that's left. So now, this trinomial is following the difference of squares pattern, right? Because 9x squared is the same thing as 3x squared. 1 is 1 squared. Now, if I take 6 and divide it by 2, I get 3x. And that's the same thing as 3x times 1. So what that means, oops, that's supposed to be a pi. So what that means is that we can follow the pattern where we turn this into one set of parentheses squared, which is the same thing as the r squared in my formula, right? And then I take the 3x and the 1, and I drop down the first sign. So the radius in this case is 3x plus 1 inches. So there we have it, guys. That is factoring to find a dimension. Until next time.